Good morning, Aquarius, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is to go on and get you started with this singles reading, and it's valid until the end of next month here. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Aquarius, rest assured that this reading will not resonate for each and every one of you out there, but for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking here. So, specifically, in this reading, what I wanted to do was to address three specific questions here. The first, Aquarius, is to just address an old pattern, excuse me, or belief system that many of you constantly cling to and the reason why Many of you perhaps haven't found the relationship that you see. The second question that I like to address is, I'm going to show you within this reading something within you that you've simply just taken for granted or you overlooked. And the message that I'm going to convey to you will certainly urge you to express this a bit more openly. And last, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also going to give you some actions that you can take to move forward in the direction that you want here because many of you certainly want a true loving relationship here. So let's see what's perhaps uh, may have been holding you back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and shuffle up these cards right here. All right. And I'm going to ask Spirit, what message is there for Aquarius here. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this reading is valid until the end of this month here. Okay. So let's start off by just looking at the cards falling to the bottom of the deck here. We have actually, I selected uh, two cards here. So we have both Serenity as well as Yin Yang here. Okay. So with these two cards, ladies and gentlemen, I feel that this is clearly, specifically suggesting uh, very important things here that I'm getting here. Because, of course, we all know that uh, with the yin-yang here, the yin-yang is, is basically the masculine as well as the feminine here. Okay, so it kind of suggests that you know, in the past, I'm getting your energy appeared to have been a bit unbalanced, I'm getting. Or it might be currently unbalanced. And uh, it seems like many of you seem to have been a bit too passive that I'm getting or perhaps a bit too aggressive. It was just an overabundance of one over the other here I'm getting. And some of you may have been a bit abrasive with with your dealings with others too. And I feel that perhaps you also depended on others to really make you happy of getting, or some of you might be depending on someone to make you happy or, or even to be, to make crucial choices I'm getting. Okay. In any event though, I'm kind of feeling that this card really, it really urges you to really make, you need to make adjustments here. You need more balance in your life, if you will, which is what this card is suggesting, okay? And then also, once again, you have serendipity here. So with having that card, Aquarius, it tends to show here that you're not, you see how vibrant the energy is or looks here in this card here? And you see an abundance of an overflow of water here. So water connects to our emotions and it certainly shows that perhaps many of you really don't trust your instincts as much as you sh as you should here. And with this card, of course, timing is of the essence here. Okay, I feel that many of you can certainly manifest what and whomever you see I'm getting. But you have to be careful of your wish here I'm getting. Some of you may Think something is 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 gonna a person here because we're of course we're talking about romantic situations. Um, it's the best for you, but it may turn out not to be. I'm getting here, 
okay? And I feel that some of you also might need to stop procrastinating and really start following your heart so you can move forward into this energy here as shown in that card there that I'm seeing, okay? But understand that while things might be as they are now, it doesn't have to always be this way and things are not really set in grinite that I'm kind of getting here, okay? So let's move right along, ladies and gentlemen, as discussed here. I'm going to go on and discuss your first card here that we're seeing here. And basically this card, you have reparenting yourself. So again, with this first card, it, it basically speaks about an old pattern, ladies and gentlemen, that, that many of you seem to really be clinging to. That you might want to let go. And it seems that this pattern may have seems to have held many of you back or is holding you back in some way here. All right. And it also might give reason or give um, credence to the fact why you haven't established the relationship that you are really seeking here. So, again, we have reparenting yourself. All right. So with that card, it kind of shows that. Well, it's certainly all about kind of freeing oneself from the past. And because you see the imagery or the symbolism in here, it certainly shows that many of you need to receive, uh, free yourself from these hurts and all of the pain that some of you may have suffered when you were younger here I'm getting, okay? I feel that a lot of you might be still holding on to this energy. So much so that it's not, it's just affecting the natural flow of any type of relationship for you, or it's kind of blocking you from really moving forward into a satisfying relationship I'm getting here because perhaps you're repeating a lot of the toxic things that you may have learned as a child, as, as a child and it causes you to keep getting involved in all of these toxic type relationships that it really is not good for you. They're not good for you. Okay. Or many of you are continuously repeating the same dysfunctional patterns that you really need to let go here. All right. So with this card, just as the card is saying here, it's time that you reparent yourself. And again, this has held you back. I'm getting. Okay. Now the next card that we're going to look at it's going to be, basically, I'm going to, it's all about a, something within you, okay? Something that's hidden that perhaps maybe you've taken for granted or you overlook. And the energy of this card, it urges you, ladies and gentlemen, to kind of inject this energy into your life a bit more here. And we have creativity. So just looking at that card, that certainly gives a, a clear sign that many of you are very talented I'm getting here. And with being creative, it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, thinking outside of the box. So that includes in your relationship, in your romantic situation. I think that you are just too predictable. You seem to constantly always want to do everything the same way. And this card is telling me that it's time to be a bit more creative in your approach here, all right? Be a bit more spontaneous. Stop doing things the same way. Be a bit more inconspicuous, okay? Because being too predictable, I'm here seeing here, seems to have indeed impeded a natural flow of any of your relationships that I'm seeing here. So the key here is to embrace change. I mean, if you are, have just met someone new or if you do meet someone new, try to do things differently than what you've been accustomed, ladies and gentlemen, to doing here. It's, that's very important that I'm seeing here, okay? Now we're going to go on and just get into some various actions that you might want to consider taking here to, to, you know, to further enhance your ability to find this um, romance that you're seeking here. So we have boundaries, OK? 
okay? And I'm sure many of you already know what that means here. So it seems to suggest here that you really need to establish firm boundaries from the onset here. You can't start off a relationship a certain way without boundaries or and, and then midstream try to change things. Usually relationship end the way that they started. So you have to release all of these pretenses that some of you may um, tend to have when you're entering a relationship. You need to be true to yourself. If, it, if there are things that you don't like doing, then don't do them. You have to be very, you know, very specific with whomever you deal here. Okay? You need to know your worth also when you're entering a relationship here. You need to let your yes be yes and your no be no here that I'm getting. And I feel that some of you do have the proclivity to be a pushover, a wimp, if you will. You have to stop entering relationships contrary to what you believe to be true to you. Just for the sake of pleasing someone else or, you know, just for the sake of doing it, please. Because you have, have not yet met the person, okay, that you will want here. All right, so again, it's very important that you set appropriate boundaries in any, any given situation when it comes to your relationship. And then you have, last but not least, emotional freedom here. So this card is all about, many of you almost kind of want your cake and eat it too here. Or you're thinking that if you do get into some type of a relationship, your emotional freedom, as you see here, or autonomy is going to be taken away somehow and this is certainly not the truth here that i'm getting okay your autonomy certainly will not be taken away because you can certainly have a compatible relationship but in order to do that you can't have secrets that's why it's important that you express yourself with whomever you get with and you just let them know at first these are things that you like to do or whatever or he or she likes to do you're going to have to Kind of bridge the gap, you know, and, and kind of understand that you can't have your cake and eat it too. But being in a committed relationship, it doesn't cause you to lose your emotional freedom, okay? So, that's what that is kind of indicating. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go on and shuffle up my manifestation cards here just to give you a, a few more messages as they relate to action that you might consider implementing in your current approach when it comes to relationships here. So Spirit, what additional messages would you like me to communicate to Aquarius and actions that Aquarius can take to manifest this loving relationship that they are all seeking here? So let's see what we have here. All right. We have, once again, <laughs> you have to find a balance. I can't stress it enough. You'll have the boundaries um, card here, right? And you also have the yin yin here. Remember from this reading, it says that you're off balance, okay? It's time that you establish some type of a balance in your life. Many of you might need to detoxify. This is not just limited to drugs or alcohol or smoking. You might need to detoxify your way of thinking here. You know? These are things that are required in order to move you forward. Okay? Once again, know your worth, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I just indicated to you with the other cards here. Stop falling for toxic, unhealthy type situations that you know they're not good for you, okay? It's time that you release control, okay? You guys always seem to want to control situations. You can't. You have to let things go in their natural flow. And last but not least, Aquarius, with these cards... You got to try to lighten up a bit. Try to have a bit more fun here. You know, you're kind of taking life a bit too seriously. And that card is indicating to you that it's time to just lighten up. And once again, 
find a different approach here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is give you a few more messages on a few things that I'm kind of seeing here from these cards here that you might want to consider surrendering in or letting go in order to restore that inner peace that you're, you're kind of seeking here. And in that way, you may be able to find a satisfying relationship. So Spirit, what additional messages would you like me to share with Aquarius here? What additional messages? All right. It's time that you learn to surrender negative thinking here. Understand that you certainly have control over your thoughts. Understand that when negative thoughts surface, say, thank you for sharing. And quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Again, surrender your need to always be right. It's time that you give others the gift of letting them be right at times here. Because it seems that you need to be a bit more yielding, not rigid as maybe many of you have been. Because this is certainly is going to help you resolve conflict as well as improve your relationships with others. Okay? Surrender denial here. Try to accept people and situation exactly as they are without really denying the difficulty. Then you can uh, see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay? And last but not least with these cards, it's time that you surrender your attachments to results here. Understand that the formula of for success is to really do all that you can to really make things happen. And then you got to let go of the results here because holding on too tightly to a desired outcome Aquarius can certainly sabotage you or sabotage what what you're working towards here. So in closing today, I just like to leave you with a message from Spirit, which is which I'll share with you on a postcard that I have here. I'm shuffling the deck now and I'm gonna take out a postcard here. All right. Here's your message here, and I'm gonna read it as it is written. Dearest you, we bet. You must be so exhausted some days, giving us as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good, can leave you feeling depleted, like an empty well, if it feels as if there's no more water for you. The good news is, we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath. Book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers, or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but it is essential for your well-being now. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You do not have to explain. Just say no. Gently but firmly. Then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished, and ready for more adventure. We love you so, so very much. Okay? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading has offered you the information that many of you singles are, have been seeking here to kind of get to the bottom of why you may haven't established the relationship that you're seeking. Be sure to like and share this video if this has resonated with you. If you'd like a more personal reading, you can also contact me at will.brown at watconsultinggroup.net. Enjoy your day. I look forward to hearing your comments.